Hey guys, Captain Kurt Fister. Thanks for joining me. Um, I got a lot of requests for a lot of different videos, and we have a maintenance and pre-flight video that's in another section over here in our in our training section videos. And uh, this is another one. Even though I talk about the uh, the uh, the unit and different things to do, uh, one of the requests I always get is how do I put my propellers on on my monster? The monster has a four-bladed propeller system. In fact, it's the only unit on the market that has a four-bladed propeller system. And some guys, when they come down here, uh, when they go home, they pack it up and put it in the trunk. Sometimes they'd like to take their their propeller system off so it's more portable and fit in the trunk of their car. But when they get home, they're like mm, scratching their head and trying to figure out how to put it back together again. And so I thought I'd make a nice little video to show you how to put the props back on your monster. And this is a real simple way to do this. I'm going to show you uh, exactly what to do because uh, there is a right and a wrong way to do it actually. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, the props are off of it right now. We're going to rotate our propeller system right here until we have one of the bolt holes at the 12 o'clock position. We're going to put that right straight up and down at the 12 o'clock position. Make sure it's a bolt hole and not one of these other uh, spacer holes, but you want to see that it's a bolt hole with the threads in it. And you put that at the 12 o'clock position. I like to sit down in front of it. It makes it much easier to work with. We're going to grab our propellers. Fresh Breeze has a very unique propeller system. I love their scimitar props. This is a very quiet prop, very efficient prop. Um, you'll notice the unique shape of it. It's also a carbon fiber uh, and composite prop, which is much better than the wooden props because they rev up to speed. Nice thing about them is they break into two parts. And when you're traveling and you want it to break down, if you need to get your unit in a very small spot, you can actually take our propeller systems apart and break them in half. Um, these propeller systems go, to, uh, go together very easily. You can see they go straight together. And then that forms one propeller. Okay. So we get the two pieces together like that. And you see fresh and breeze. Now, what I like to do is um, I leave one... These, these two propeller systems, when you get them from Fresh Breeze, there'll be two of them bundled together and the other two are bundled together in another, in a, in another packet. So they're balanced for each side. This, this side is balanced for this side. If you try to use this one with the other propellers, you'll get a wobble, you'll get a shake, and you'll get a lot of vibration because at the factory, they are balanced for each other. So right now, we're going to get the first prop on. We already have our bolt hole to 12 o'clock. There's no there's no uh, spacer here. You'll notice down here we have two spacers and six bolts. And of course, there's our Allen wrench. We give a nice tool kit with it. We're going to take our uh, we're going to take our propeller system, and we're going to put this right on the hub here. And we're going to stick that bolt top bolt right at the 12 o'clock position, so we know it's lined up. We're going to be able to read fresh and breeze horizontally right in front of us. This is telling us that it's sitting right lined up with the holes. Next thing we're going to do is take one of our spacers, put the spacer on, put that at 12 o'clock. Very easy to find. Okay, now we're going to take our next prop, which I've already put together. And you notice on here I put a little dot on this one with a black magic marker. And on the other half, I put a little dot right there. And so if I'm ever taking my props apart, I don't want to get them mixed up again, so I, I've got an indicator on there so I can, I can see that I'm, I got, each part is balanced for each other. So I'm getting the right size prop with the right side, or with the, the right, each end is the right one. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I like to sit right in front of it, a little bucket or a little stool. Both props are now horizontal in front of me. No need to zoom in. I'm just going to set that there at 12 o'clock. I'm going to cover up the holes and put that, that uh, spacer here. And I'm going to take the bolt here, and you can come in now and see that you can read fresh and breeze. And then I'm going to take this bolt and put it in the very first hole to the right, almost the 1 o'clock position. And I'm going to stick this right in front of the other propeller, back it up so you can get a good view of it. Okay? And I'm just going to simply rotate it until that bolt will then go, come back from behind me, until that bolt will go into the 12 o'clock hole just like that. And of course, it'll be easy to find that, that bolt to get the thread started because we stuck everything at 12 o'clock, and there it is. So we don't want to tighten that down too much. Just give it a small turn with our little wrench, but we're not going to tighten it yet. We're then going to take another bolt, stick it in the 6 o'clock position, 
I'm going to stick that right on the on the prop hub, and then everything's going to line up. It'll be much easier. I wiggle it a little bit to be able to get the thread started. And once I get two bolts in, then all the other ones lighten up. Again, I only hand tighten them down for now. And you'll notice that on the fresh breeze, the props are not perpendicular. Okay, they're slightly off. And you may be asking yourself, well, why is it like that? I've seen on airplanes where they're straight, you know, perpendicular to each other. Well, the Germans have figured out very efficient um, this prop. If the other one was up here with this motor and at this RPM, by the time this propeller got up to where the other one was, it's going through air that is slightly disturbed and, and it doesn't have as much bite. So it's much more efficient to have the props a little closer together so that both props are cutting into nice, clean, undisturbed air and you're getting even more thrust. I just set a world record with this particular motor and I launched a 446 pound pilot and on top of that, he was flying with the extra weight of a trike, and it still gets you off the ground. Nobody under 200 pounds should be flying a monster foot launch. Uh, you can fly it on a trike if you're under 200 pounds, but this is the ulti ultimate tandem machine. This is the biggest motor being used on the market. It's a Hearth F-33 uh, motor. Hearth has been making aircraft motors since World War I. And of course, if you go through Fresh Breeze, you've got even more goodies that I list on my equipment video. If you watch that, you'll see all the other things about this video that are not on any other brand and you really need to watch that. That is the most hated video by other dealers because when you come into the sport they don't want you to know the difference in the equality or, or anything else. They definitely don't want you to know about our free training and when you come in for training we're going to be teaching you how to do this kind of stuff and put your propeller on, how to work on your motor. I have videos on it but there's nothing like being here in person and there's no time limit or price tag on the training so our training is free and unlimited. I'm going to continue on putting the uh, bolts in and the best way to see if you've done it right is if you, when you get done putting it together, if you look down, if the propellers are touching in any way, even just slightly, uh, then you have it wrong. And you simply need to reverse the steps and do what I've done. Watch the video over again. But usually after you leave training, you'll remember. But there have been people that go home and forget how to put this thing together and they just want to be sure. So now I've made this video so you can review back to it anytime and uh, check us out. Okay, it was very easy to find the holes, see, using that method of, uh, of putting them at, at 6 and 12 o'clock there. Now that we've got those in, we're going to go ahead and just slightly tighten this up. Again, we're not going to bear down on it yet. We're going to go right around, and I want you to skip a bolt. I do like a star pattern. Just like you're putting the lug nuts on the car, if your dad taught you anything when you were a kid, how to put the lug nuts on a, on a car, he taught you to skip a bolt, not go to the next one in line. So we go to the ones across from it until we get them all kind of snug down just to the point where they're tightened up and now we're going to do the same thing again and we're going to go a little further. There is a torque spec but nobody uses it. You can use a torque wrench if you want but you kind of honestly don't need it. Just tighten it down to where they're snug and you're going to be checking these from time to time anyways. So you'll just snug them down to where when you've got two fingers on it and you tighten it, that's good enough. Okay, we're going to go to this one. That's pretty good. And we're just going to keep going a little bit further. That's good. That's good. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. And that one's done. And of course, after I run it after a flight, uh, usually everything will seat in a little bit better, but I'll come back and tighten them again. I'm always doing a pre-flight and uh, maintenance on my equipment every night. I'm always going over it while I'm cleaning it down, checking for anything loose. And again, we have a, a pre-flight and maintenance video. It'll tell you when to change bolts on the exhaust, when to change the belt, how to change the belt. You'll see other videos in there where we show you how to tighten, how to change a belt. And, uh, but that's how you put your propellers on your monster, so when you get back home, you'll know how to do it. I want to thank you for joining me. If there's any other questions, you can give us a call at 330-554-9194. Our phone lines are open from 8 in the morning until midnight, seven days a week for the past 18 years. We believe in customer service here, and uh, we look forward to seeing you and getting you flying. Thank you for joining me.